This is the real Tom Rose, and this is a geometry angles problem. It's actually quite a difficult geometry angles problem. It starts out looking fairly simple. It's a, it's a setup you've probably seen before where you have two parallel lines and a transversal, and you're already thinking, I've seen these before, I know how to solve them. But then they throw a little wrench in the works. They say E is equal to 2D, which is a strange thing to say. Usually they give you an angle measure. And then they ask you which of the following must be equal to B. So you have some given information and you're asked to find something. So this is kind of a hybrid question. Um, we've been given E equals 2D and we've been asked to find B. And as, a, as we've seen before, it's possible for you to simplify either side of these, either the given or the find, but we need to, we need to get to a match at some point. Um, what I've, What's going to be helpful here is let's start putting things down on the diagram that we know to be true. And I'm going to try to translate these into, um, into B. We've been asked to find B. So let's label everything that we know which is equal to B. Um, so B is obviously B. Um, any angles that are opposite on a crisscross must have the same measure. So D is actually equal to B. And then when you have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, all corresponding angles have the same measure. A corresponding angle is an angle which is in the same place on the cross. So we have two sets of crosses. The upper right one will have the same measure. So this is also B. And similarly again, this will be B for the same reason. It's the lower left angle, which we know is the same as the lower left. So there's actually four angles which measure B. And now let's start labeling some of the other angles. Um, I'm going to choose to use, um, actually, let's do a little simplification first. We, have, we were originally given E is equal to 2D, but now we know that D equals B. So I can actually say E equals 2B. Now we're starting to get somewhere. I can actually solve for B if I want. Uh, let's divide both sides by 2. And we can see that um, 1 half E is equal to B. So now we're close. If I can find 1 half, I can find 1 half E and that'll get me the answer. Or I can find B and that'll get me the answer. Now we have two ways to get the answer. So we're getting closer. Um, another thing you may want to do is take this little equation here, E is equal to 2B, and start plugging that in. I'm going to plug that in in blue. We have an E, so I'm going to put in 2B for it. Opposite angles are the same, so that's 2B. Then use the corresponding angles rule. Lower right is 2B, so lower right will be 2B. Upper left is 2B, so upper left will be 2B. Now this is getting a little complex. So what I'm going to do is draw in the angle, the arcs for all the angles which are the same. I'm going to bold it. So anything which is red measures B. And there should be four angles with that measure. And anything in blue measures 2B. And down here, we're now looking for which answer choice has a measure equal to B. Well, we can start plugging these in. Everything's in terms of B, so um, B, answer choice A will be B plus C. Angle C is the lower right one, which we know is 2B, so that equals 3B. Um, 3D, D is the lower left 
angle on the bottom, which is equal to B. So this will be 3B, 3B. These are both wrong. We're looking for something which equals B. Um, 3E, E actually has a measure of 2B. So this is going to be 6B. That's right out. C has a measure of 2B. We already used that before. And if we subtract B, hey, we get an angle measure of B. And that looks right. And you could stop and pick this right now. I'm going to do the other one in case you got stuck on it. Um, angle A is the upper left one on the bottom cross. So if that's 2B plus E, which was also 2B. So this is equal to 4B, which is not right either. So you've seen there's many, many ways to skin this cat. Um, one way that works is converting everything into a known variable. Um, you could also simplify what's given or simplify what you found. Or I'm going to show you another little trick you could use, which is you could actually go over to num all numbers. So here we have 1 half E equals B. But you'll notice that E and B sum to, to be 180 because they split this line. So I drew a blue arc. So the sum of these two angles must be 180. Sum of angles equals 180 across a line. So we can do the sum of those angles, which is E plus B equals 180. And we know E is equal to 2B, actually. So if I plug that in, I'll get 2B plus B equals 180. Or 3B equals 180 or B equals 60. And now we actually have the measure of B. And you can plug that in here to get the measure of E. E must be 120. And once you've turned it into numbers, you could easily plug in everything and get numbers. I'm not going to go through all the numbers again. I just plugged in variables here. But you could try plugging in 60 everywhere that you have a B right here. And that'll get you the numerical values. And that would be an alternative. I think it's longer, but it could work as well.